Oh my goodness, they all look so young. <laughs> it's just so cool to look at these students. Brings back a lot of memories. I can remember reading their files. Here's Charlie Deutscher, who's now a very senior in the International Committee of the Red Cross. Here's Temi Bollerinmi, who went to the American Center for Disease Control. I mean, I could go on and on. Here's Marianne Schreier, one of the youngest ever students we took. And I remember looking at his file and saying, this guy's too young to do our program. This is a graduate program for people going into government. He became the youngest ever elected mayor in Germany. Very unique and special, I would say, to meet so many students from so many different countries. Our first cohort, we had 38 MPP students. And now, and currently, we have 144, yeah. so we are growing. Our mission, which is solving the problems that governments have and not the problems that academic disciplines construe governments as having. We want world-leading excellence, but we want world-leading excellence that represents the world that we are trying to help. We want people who can answer important academic questions, but we want people who then want to go and apply those lessons. We actually take into account the willingness and ability of applicants to go and change the world. It's not just about coming to school and study some subjects. It's also about building a community of change makers. I'm very proud of, of being an MPP alumni. In my everyday job, I normally rely on the skills and knowledge that I gain. Currently, I'm working on changing the way politics is being done in my country. It's about how to make a difference in people's lives, how to improve um, life outcomes. I wanted to create a more freer, fairer, more equal Ireland. And the marriage equality referendum felt like a revolution. Things fundamentally changed and shifted in Ireland in that moment. And I'm really proud to, to play a role in that referendum. To empower the right people to go into government, respond to the needs of their communities, as well as how to cooperate with one another across borders. I arrived on the MPP uh, in 2019, full of expectations. And coming from Ghana, it was the first time that I was traveling out of my continent. Growing up in Ghana, trying to make life happen for myself. I had to take shelter in uncompleted church buildings just to be able to access education and go to school. I get the opportunity to work as an assistant to Ghana's Minister for Finance. That sort of confidence, that sort of ability to negotiate these sort of relationships was something that I really appreciate getting from the MPP program. Everyone here makes an implicit commitment to be a leader. We are responsible not just for the excellence of our ideas, but for how our words land on others. This skill, sculpted over the course of the MPP year, is in my view the magic that drives many MPPs as alumni to build unlikely coalitions. I am the leader of an Avron girls boarding school in exile. The Blavatnik School emphasizes the importance of building partnerships with governments. Let me tell you this, it is not easy to move 250 people across international borders in normal times. Now imagine trying to do it when more than half of those people have no passports and the Taliban are walking through the streets of your city. Our professors here teach us the value of working with governments, building channels of communication. We're established in Rwanda now because of the connections we built then. I'm not naming names, but you know who you are, and you know how grateful I am. Many of the challenges that the world faces today are global in nature. The school has been a place where we build unlikely coalitions. The hardest challenges in the world require not just analytically sound solutions, but also the political judgment to build those coalitions and to put those solutions into fruitful practice. Thank you for being part of us on the journey from the beginning, every one of you have made this place what it is today. I felt very inspired and motivated by my classmates, by the professors here in the school. They, they give you the, the strength and the confidence to just follow your dreams and just to go for it and change, change the world. <laughs>